Looking ahead, as President Trump is headed to Connecticut today, among those who will be in attendance, commercial fishermen hoping to catch the president's attention. I'm with News reporter Julia Pixoto, live in Narragansett this morning, where local fishermen are supposed to begin their trip to Connecticut. She joins us now with more. Good morning. Well, the fishermen are actually already on their way. They left before the sun came up. Now, they're not just going to Connecticut to support the new Coast Guard graduates. They're also hoping to catch the president's eye while they're out on the water and to raise awareness about the issues that commercial fishermen are currently facing. And they made some colorful signs to help them do just that. This one plays off of President Trump's campaign slogan reading, Make Commercial Fishing Great Again. Members of the group say... Fishing quotas and proposed wind farms and sanctuaries greatly limit where commercial fishermen can practice their trade. They're hoping the president will loosen the many regulations that burden them, similar to how he's undone certain rules that affected coal miners. We spoke to one local fisherman earlier this morning who says the fishing quotas and limits are putting people like him out of business. We're trying to let them know that there's an ocean full of fish out here. The fish have been rebuilt and we're forced to throw them over dead all day in the name of conservation. And in the meantime, as we're doing this, we're, we're all slowly going out of business because these boats are expensive to operate. The limits are absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason for them. Everyone's saying, let us catch the fish that are available. They're plentiful. And he added that the U.S. imports more than 90 percent of its seafood, so he's hoping the president will see the need to boost domestic production. Now, while this group of fishermen is going there in support of the president, another group is going there to protest his policies. Coming up in about 30 minutes, we'll take you to Connecticut and how the city is preparing for the president's visit. Live in Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.